In this video, we're going to review how to use the HiveMail app and connect it to your Hive account. HiveMail brings together your work in Hive and your email communication. So let's get started and connect our email to Hive. So you're going to come up and go to the Hive apps and scroll to the bottom and you'll see Hive Mail here. Toggle this on and you'll be prompted to choose your email provider. So in this case, I'm going to use Google and I'm going to click on Google here and it's going to ask me for some permissions and I'm going to allow access to ensure I can have the connection. So I'll scroll down and allow. And now once this is set up, we'll see the small toggle slide to the right and mail will appear in our left hand navigation. So there's our toggle and up here is our Hive mailbox. So let's go back to Hive and let's see what we can see in our mail. So I'm going to click this open and the bar will slide and you'll see I have these two emails in my inbox and now I can reply and read email. So the power of Hive Mail allows me to not only manage my email, but it allows me to connect my email to my action cards and tasks in my project. So let's open this email here. Now this email here is asking me to update certain parts for a QBR report. What I want to do is I want to add this to my actions. So I'm going to create an action card from this. If we look at the create action button here, let's click that and you'll see our action card is created. What it does initially is it uses the subject line of the email and makes that the title of the action card. And you can see it also assigns it directly to yourself. So that's to me. Um, and we can add a due date. So let's click on the date picker and I'm going to add a due date of Thursday. What I'm also going to do now is click into the action card and let's look at the detail. And I can see a few things here where we have the due date, the assignment, the title itself. And I can also see the entire email thread down in the middle of the action card here. Now, you'll see this card is defaulted to private. And this is due to every mail that you create an action card from defaulting to the private position. And this is to ensure that you only share these actions when you wish to and to individuals that you're happy to see your email content. So I'm going to go and make it public. And you see the little notification at the corner here. And the next thing I want to do is I want to move this to a project. It's so going to drop the menu here and I'm going to scroll down and select the project I want it to be assigned to. And it will update and show the project name at the top bar. One further thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to reply to this email. And you see the reply all, reply and forward buttons underneath the email content. I'm going to quickly hit reply. And say hi D. And then I'll hit send. And what you'll see is that will reply out and you'll get the email sent notification here and it will arrive into my inbox. So this process allows you to bridge between your work and the tasks in Hive. It helps us extend our work out to vendors, clients, and people who you collaborate with who may not be in Hive. So I'm going to close this action card. And I'm now going to look at our next option. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to assign an email to an existing action card. So let's open this email here. And this has a, an asset for creative review. And I'm going to link this to an action card. So if I come up to my link to existing action, And here is my action card here and I'm going to click add and again you'll see the action card at the top assigned to me but it already has a due date because this card was already set up so let's open it up and let's see here description due date assignment and here's the email with the asset attached a few more features that we want to look at with hive mail is that we can create an email directly from the compose button over here and you can filter and search for your email. And also you can add emails to your folders that you already have set up here. And finally, there are some settings that you can employ from your profile. So let's come to the profile menu and click up and select mail. Here you can set your email footer and you can also disable the sent with Hive.
So finally, once connected, you can send notes and exports from Hive where the option exists straight through your email. And that is how we integrate mail with our Hive.